Welcome ladies and gents, another day, another story on Sweet Baby Inc. Sweet Baby Inc. have ran off to Kotaku, yes that's still a thing, amazingly, and they've got Alyssa Mercant, or Mercant, uh, to lie and run massive damage control for Sweet Baby Inc. so the grift can continue, but we're here to report on it and to show everyone up, uh, especially the senior editor-in-chief of Kotaku, Alyssa, uh, because she believes, stupidly, wrongly, that racism doesn't apply when it's directed at white people. Mmm. These people are mega stupid and uh, expose themselves time and time again. These are the people that defend in Sweet Baby Inc. Sweet Baby Inc. go to them to defend them. It's a merry-go-round of nonsense. And make no mistake, yes... You can be racist to white people, obviously. Anyway, shall we take a look? This is a story that just keeps giving. I, I didn't think it was going to keep going like this, but it is, and I'm here for it. So here we have it. Let me just shuffle this over a little bit, because we're a bit zoomed in there. Uh, but yeah, Sweet Baby Inc. runs to Kotaku after their cancel campaign got destroyed and their company's vile agenda was exposed. I'm here for it. So if you don't know what I'm referring to, just real quick, Sweet Baby Inc. is a uh, essentially a, cons a consultation company um, employed by AAA Game Studios to run narrative suggestions for their products. Um, the CEO has gone on record and said she believes white gamers are essentially crybaby pigs, um, you know, spoiled little babies, basically. Uh, and essentially what they do is they make your game woke or they will they will approve that your game is woke and That's kind of it really they hold video games companies to ransom on an emotional level and a moral level because they're like This is the current thing. This is the current woke agenda So what we're going to do is we're gonna hold you to ransom based on that Right, so if you don't add this woman then you're not woke enough and uh, yeah, that's bad essentially. So it's preying on that sort of, I don't know, spineless activity of AAA game studios. And make no mistake, they are equally to blame in this, but you take out one piece of the pie, it begins to fall apart. So we're trying to dismantle the recipe here for producing garbage games. Uh, and now what happened was a curator on Steam decided, uh, I'm just going to make a, a curator group called Sweet Baby Inc. Detected. And what that's going to do is list games that they've been involved in. And that's it. And they had a massive meltdown. Huge meltdown. I also have, just as an FYI, uh, not only the uh, things with respect to um, Sweet Baby Inc., uh, but there's also some other companies that do exactly the same thing, which I will show you in a minute so you guys can avoid them as well. But let's take a look at what happened with Kotaku. Oh, well, so basically they just they did an article. And it's this, Alyssa Mercante. So here it is, Sweet Baby Inc. doesn't do what gamers think it does. No one, no one company isn't forcing diversity into all your video games. No, but again, if businesses functioned as they should, right, which is supply and demand, then there wouldn't be any of this nonsense, right? Because the demand doesn't meet this I mean the supply isn't meeting the demand we don't want this in our video games in our movies we are your audience we are actually we're a capitalist society we are literally what pays your bills you should probably stop putting this garbage in there and some AAA game studios are trying you know some of them are figuring that out the same as some movie studios are figuring that out and I think now more than ever when these companies get exposed like this may send a message to these video game studios that yeah, you should probably not hire these garbage companies that are grifting for your cash. Because you know what's funny about this? Is this, the payments that Sweet Baby Inc. gets, for instance, will get put onto the consumer. So your video game that costs, I don't know, £70, $99, and is fundamentally broken on day one, yeah, is that high in cost? Because they're paying companies like Sweet Baby Inc. So reduce the utter wastage in the games industry, you might actually come up with a more reasonable cost in game moving forwards. But anyway, I digress. Let's take a look at this garbage article. And it is garbage. Sweet Baby Inc. 
is not the largest narrative design company in the games industry, nor is it solely responsible for the characters and stories in recent high profile releases like Alan Wake 2, God of War, Suicide Squad, but good luck telling some gamers that. No, we're aware of that, you absolute spaz. We are more than aware, but why would we not let one games company get dismantled when we can, you know, what, are you going to focus on all the others? No, we've got our eyes on the prize with Sweet Baby Inc. When that gets destroyed, we'll move on to another one. Thank you very much. But keep running your nonsense cope uh, that we don't know what we're talking about. That's fine. So, uh, late last month, one of the company's consultants discovered a Steam group dedicated to detecting games that Sweet Baby Inc. has worked on. The purpose? To encourage people to... No, it's not It's not to encourage people to avoid those games. It's to tell them so they can avoid them. Um, to encourage people to avoid those games because the group had deemed Sweet Baby Inc was pushing a woke agenda by working towards greater diversity, equity, and inclusion. Yeah, diversity, equity, and inclusion is woke, and it is an agenda. That's You can't argue with that, and it is cancerous to all forms of profit. The Steam group now has more than 100,000 followers. I think it actually has more than 200,000, in fairness. And it's own Discord. They're both nearly 2,000 members. But this, Aya against Sweet Baby Inc., and DEI initiatives in general, isn't new. On October 2023, Kiwi Farms post shares similar sentiments, start, uh, stating that the company's involvement in Remedy's award-winning action game Alan Wake 2, possibly one of the biggest scandals in gaming history. I like how they're using this as an example in their, um, their sort of article here. This is massively praised. Idiots. Anyway, so the controversy conversation around Sweet Baby Inc. Sorry, has ignited a fundamentally misinformed Gamergate-esque firestorm. Its employees have faced rampant harassment. No, they haven't. And also their employees are racist. We've got documentation of that. Their employees are literally racist. Uh, there's multiple tweets where they're just spouting off about racist nonsense. Um, one of them, uh, specifically this one, Lego, uh, Lego Butts Felix at Home multiple tweets about how they had nightmares of being a white person. I mean, they're just racist scum. Anyway, uh, so industry figures have had to deny allegations that Sweet Baby Inc. comes in and completely changes their games. I spoke with several employees of Sweet Baby Inc. to learn what the company actually does and how the misunderstandings of its role in the, hist in the industry highlights a far broader problem. Uh, anyway, I'm not interested in taking a look at this too much more I do because I want to show you contextually why you shouldn't believe anything this bitch says. Um, because she doesn't understand what she's talking about with basic English. So here we go, just as an FYI. I tweeted this out. Follow me on Twitter. At Mistake Reviews. Said, Kotaku, uh, you want to correct your senior editor? A dictionary clear clearly isn't her strong point. Sweet Baby Inc. Mindset detected. Does this article mention anything about the Sweet Baby Inc. CEO being a full-blown racist? Because I have a feeling this article doesn't mention it. Hi. You can't be racist against white people. Thanks for tuning in. Who's that? Sorry, Alyssa McCante. Ah, the turd that wrote this. Right. Anyway, there's more. Got a uh, community noted. Racism isn't limited to marginalised or minority races, ethnic groups. It is simply the unfair treatment of people who belong to a different specific race, uh, which can, in fact, include white people. Ha. Huh. That went well, didn't it? <laughs> these people absolute scum I do want to take a look at some of the comments because this is on Kotaku's website remember Kotaku journalist normally this is a joke Kotaku is nothing more than a well curated blog site this article was pretty good it's not, it's not pretty good it's not pretty good at all the fact literally the fact that she doesn't understand what racism is goes to show you real bad um you know what? Even if it were pushing a woke agenda, I'd be fine with that. We, we've we had enough machism, jingoism, chauvinism and racism in our games. Where? Show me. Show me. I'm still annoyed about how woke has been taken out of context for agendas in the first place. Cry harder. Cry harder. Um, this isn't just... I mean, we can't expect great comments from Kotaku readers anyway, let's be honest here. Um, but again, we have some of this stuff, you know. After chatting with Sweet Baby Inc., 
I returned to my Discord DM with one of the members of the group rallying against them with the help of Belair's own words. I explained what Sweet Baby Inc. actually does, its core focus on narrative work and how DEI is only a small part of their remit. He wouldn't budge. With all due respect, it really just seems like the same thing to me, but just a bit more hands-on in the writing process. The end goal is to insert DEI type stuff into the project they're working on, which it is. That is literally what they say anyway. So let, let, let's have a look. Let's give them benefit of the doubt. Let's see what they say, right? I see what they think that they're doing. Um, so, uh, what what bad actors think companies like Sweet Baby Inc. do? We, we know what we think that they do. Let's have a look and see what they actually say that they do. Let's see how fundamentally nonsense and how they're going to twist it. Uh, though these line, these kinds of social media posts argue that companies like Sweet Baby Inc. somehow force game studios to... Inc no, I don't think anyone's saying massively force them. They're saying that it, it's a... You know, it, it, it's a which came first, the chicken or the egg situation. Video games companies want to put all this stuff in because there is a DEI agenda. And then you've got these grifting scumbag, which are coming on the back end of it and going, we'll get a piece of that pie as well. They enforce one another. It's like it, it's a confirmation bias. Video games companies are like, are we doing good? And then this woke ass company comes along and goes, yeah, you're doing good. You see, it's a confirmation bias system. So Sweet Baby co-founder David Bedard adds that contrary to popular belief, people making these games want to make the experience better for all players uh, and that more diversity and representation is a byproduct of that. How does that make anything better, you scummy twat? Detractors would rather believe that there's a shadowy cabal of people forcing them to put that stuff in. They would rather believe a make-believe fairy tale than accept that. Making something more, representat more representative and more joyful for a marginalised person in a video game is not a zero-sum game. It doesn't make anything worse for the male characters in the game uh, or for the white characters in the game. Well, I mean, if you start to put like, bloody trans lesbians in it all the time, yeah, it's, it's pretty distracting, quite frankly. I don't want to watch some, you know, black person running around with tits and a massive schlong hanging around. Like, I just, I'm not interested in that, obviously, you know. And at the end of the day, video games are supposed to be escapism. So why can we not just have escapism? And I can't be bothered to read any of this This utter drivel trash because the person who wrote it fundamentally doesn't understand the most basic principle of you know human interaction is that yes you can be racist towards anyone idiot um obviously that's not the most fundamental basis of human interaction clearly but you get my drift anyway love to hear your thoughts on this drop them down below the never-ending saga of sweet baby ink oh also actually hold on because i did say i would show you this didn't i there is more by the way um because i tweeted this out uh let's have a look so where is it? Here we go. So we knew Sweet Baby Inc. was only a fraction of the problem in gaming. Here is a compiled list of others that do abhorrent work and destroy fun. So this is a whole list. It wasn't me. I didn't, I didn't do this. Um, but if you follow me over on Twitter at Mistake Reviews, you can find this. Uh, and you can basically see how this entire thing is a confirmation bias system. Because that's what it is. It is a confirmation bias system. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.